Oh, good morning. I have a frog in my throat. <sighs> good morning. Um, I'm really enjoying the sunshine this morning. Uh, it's been a really long week. <laughs> um, and I've not been in contact or online. Um, really, this, <clears throat> this week I've been doing a lot of healing. <laughs> I had oral surgery last Friday, and so it's been, uh, I've been dealing with that, and I have stitches inside my mouth that I get to have removed uh, tomorrow afternoon, finally. Um, <clears throat> but it's been a really long week, and um, I just wanted to touch base and and I think this is healing well, and thank God I get those out, the stitches out tomorrow. <laughs> um, oh gosh, I've been going through some pretty serious, like just emotional uh, detox. A lot of stuff has been bubbling up, you know, and. And I'm glad, too, because some pretty deep issues that I'm finally able to work out and get out. And it, it's just, <clears throat> it's interesting the things that, that trigger these resurgences of old traumas. Anyways, I've been doing a lot of inner work and, and um, bringing all that stuff out. and. Uh, and healing and dealing with this and it's uh, <laughs> thank god I get those stitches out tomorrow tomorrow afternoon <laughs> oh that'll be such a relief <laughs> it's kind of it's really uh, I don't even have words for the way it feels to have stitches inside the mouth <laughs> it's awkward that's for sure it still hurts a bit but nothing really pales in comparison to before I had that surgery um, it was two t two teeth extracted I had a wisdom tooth uh, extracted and the molar right next to it they were wreaking havoc and um, so now they're gone oh Bird. Oh, jeez, it's so bright. Can you see it? No. Oh, hi, buddy. Shit. Well, I don't know. It's pretty bright. <laughs> but it was a really gorgeous little bird. <sighs> So it's been a long week. I've got some new awesome um, slippers. Check it out. On my feet. These are the most shoe-like shoes. Wait, let me show you. Let me uh, hang on a second. These have the best, um, the most shoe-like sole actually that I've worn in a really long all year in a year so these are really cool slippers I just got these and they're like flexible fabric so they really fit well on my feet and I'm able to walk with those uh, rubber soles they're really thin but yet they're rubber soles Nevertheless, and I haven't worn rubber soles really to speak of in the past year. So this is great. This is awesome. Um, I love these. <laughs> they fit well. They feel well, and I can and I can walk in them. <sighs> it's wonderful. Oops. Gosh, I'm so sorry about the quality of my fumbly video here. <sighs> Anyways, there's that. So, um, 
Oh, when they were prying my mouth open, the oral surgeon and all the tools were going in. Ow, that hurts. The corner of my mouth just got torn up and that hurts like right now more than even the inside does anymore. But um, that's right there is hard because you know, like on the outside of your mouth, it's really difficult to heal that because every time I open my mouth, it like splits again. <laughs> Ugh. So that's what that's all about is just still attempting to heal from um, having that tooth extraction happening last week. Ow. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I've been, I've been doing a, the, a balancing act, like extreme, and I'm not focusing so much on detoxification, but still and definitely, obviously, focusing on mucusless diet and um but i have been eating more cooked foods like um sweet potatoes and wild rice and brown rice and uh, steamed vegetables and because i needed to balance out the detox uh, especially from the beginning of the month when i started with a juice fast that really kicked my butt and i i find that um, if I take detoxification too deep, too fast, that I can actually end up hurting myself. So there's a, a delicate balance that we all need to find in, as individuals um, that we're all, you know, much like snowflakes are all different, we are like that in even um, the way that we must approach detoxification because we're all different and so um, I've learned I've been learning the hard way but through experience um, and I did I've tried to push myself into things and and just like extreme detox modes that my body quite frankly cannot handle this at this stage um, but things are getting better. It's just, I just have to take it really slow. And um, I'm relishing in the progressions, be them slow, but they are very sure. Like, for example, the, my toes in my right foot. At the beginning of the year, I had little to no movement in them. Now, I can move my right toes. My big toe is still... Um, still difficult but the rest on my little toes on my right foot I have more movement more and more movement in them and flexibility is coming back and um, so yeah I, I'm a believer because at the beginning of the at the end of last year this time last year I had no I couldn't move my toes at all uh, in my right foot, they were just numb to the bone and immobile. So I'm making progress absolutely, slowly but surely, and I just have to keep the faith in that um, and pace myself properly otherwise, because I don't want to hurt myself anymore. When I take detox too quickly um, and, and try to push it, I end up hurting myself and then I have to, you know, like uh, go through healing from my hurting myself like that. Um, so slowly but surely, and I'm willing to go through this. It's just been so hard, but I'm willing to do it. Yes, I've heard that it can take years to regenerate nerve damage, but that I can indeed do it and have my nerves back 100%, and I have full confidence in that. So I'm willing to take the journey slowly, but surely just um, and make sure that I pace myself in order to not uh, friggin' kill myself in the process. Uh, um. Oh, I love you all. God, I hope everybody is doing well uh, in every way with your, remember, remember too that that we can do you know slow down if you must 
and 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 put the pedal to the metal if you can by all means necessary <sighs> by all means <laughs> um mm, yeah. <sighs> i love you all so much thank you all for being there for me um and even when i'm not up there online just know that i'm there for you always and i'm always thinking about you all and have prayers in my heart for you i'm hoping and thanking heaven for uh, thanking heaven for our healing all of us and um and our opportunity on planet earth to experience all of this and uh and thank heaven for being blessed with these ultimate challenges so that uh, I can get through them and come out stronger and help pull other people through their ultimate challenges too. And thank you all f who are helping me that, are, that have been through it and are doing the same for me as well. I love you. See you soon.